proliferation around the world of these types of weapons that contribute to instability in Africa, South America, and other parts of the world generally comes from North Korea and Iran. Mm. So by funding their arms production through Russian acquisition, the Russians are actually enabling their ability to be more disruptive in more places in the world, which creates a greater problem for us. President Putin early on decided, and this was in Secretary Ash Carter's memoirs, that he needed to oppose U.S. policy everywhere in the world and create as many problems for us as he can. Using North Korean and Iranian proliferation of weapons does that. We look at the domino effect of coups in Africa. It's directly related back to that Russian policy dictated by President Putin and as enabled by Iranian and North Korean shipments. Yeah. I, I would add that uh, Iran has long sought more advanced Russian um, weapons technology on um, planes, missiles, and the Russians have been somewhat reluctant to do that. But Russia has been dependent on, Ukraine, on Iranian drones since week, month two of the big invasion. And this has enhanced Iranian leverage to, for example, maybe get the technology to start producing uh, more, more advanced Russian jets in Iran. As far as I know, this has not happened yet, but this is, I mean, I mean you, can, you can go to the intel community and find out where this stands. But th this is certainly something Iran is trying to, to get from, from and Russia, and for that matter, the North Koreans as well. Um, when, when Putin went hat in hand for artillery from North Korea, a lot of which are to prove to be duds, um, the North Koreans were also asking about ramping up their, their missile uh, uh, technology with Russia. I'm not sure the Russians have done anything yet, but again, this stuff is in play.